Yeah, I can hold. Hi, I need to order two of the Italian roast. I'm gonna need two of the Colombian roast. I need eight pounds of sugar and four of the old caramels. No, 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 the new caramel has a bad aftertaste. No, see, we don't really care that they're on sale. Our customers, they don't really like it. Okay, next Tuesday between 12 and three. Hey, Ken. I'm sorry, can you do that tracking number for me? QMBJ187651. Okay, perfect. That sounds great. Oh yeah, the total, that's what I need. Okay, go ahead. 785.56. Perfect. All right, thank you. Bye. $800, girl. What did you order? I placed the order for mom. You know, the one you didn't do yesterday. Girl, I didn't place that order because mom said to wait. Didn't you get the note? Daddy, how was your day? Uh, my day was fine. It looks like yours is a little busy. Yeah, just a little, whoa, whoa, hold up. What note? What you talking about? Girl. Yeah, this one. Now you tell me? Great. Do not order until I approve purchase. Mama's gonna get me now. Yeah, she is. But what's she gonna start with? Pay, Pay attention, attention to detail. detail. <laughs> this is so funny. What? what? To see you two like this. And your mother, she stole my model. Pay attention to detail. Was mine that snake? <sighs> Daddy. No. Come on. Is my wedding gonna be a problem for you? No, it's not. All I'm saying that, we were together 30 years, right? And I couldn't get her not to budget one dime. And as soon as we separate, not a year later, she's penny pinching? And she stole my motto? Jezebel? You act like you're the only person to ever say, pay attention to detail. No, I'm not saying that I coined the phrase, but it is something that I did live by. It was my motto. Don't act brand new with your father. Come on now. Dad, for real though, are you going to be okay? I mean, you and mom aren't even speaking to each other, let alone set foot in the same room since... The divorce? That's right. You children, you children. <laughs> First of all, I'm an adult, and I know how to act grown. Mm. Second of all, Kendra, you're my <laughs> youngest daughter, right? You're about to get married. Who would give you away if I didn't? I got you. Kristen? That's our problem. <laughs> Do you even think I would let somebody else? You think I would consider that? Let somebody no. else give you away? Daddy, no, I know, no, no. Okay, when am I gonna give you away, Buster Brown? Uh -huh. How about when I meet somebody worth giving anything to? You better not be giving up to nobody. You better be closed. Too late to be concerned. Uh -huh. Oh, y'all got jokes. Wasting a lot of time. I'll get married when the time is right. I mean, I got a great job, moving on up, got a great house, take care of myself. I'll get married when the time is right, you know. All right, what about... You can marry that boy, Lewis. Lewis is a good guy. His daddy was a good yeah, Lewis is a bum. Lewis was not no Wasn't bum. he just mowing your lawn last year? Come on. He was. He did a good job. Whatever. Now I can say that I take great pleasure that all my stuff's together right. Sometimes I feel I may settle, but I know there's something better. So if you Mama drama, still living with your mama. I hope you get what I'm saying, cause show sure not paying up. No, mom, I'm not gonna marry no bum. Not gonna marry no bum, yeah. Nah. No job. That's all right. No car drive. Ride the bus. All that lying. Uneducated. School ain't easy. Self-deprecating. Out of shape and lazy. No mama. Said I'm not gonna marry no. And I mean it. I mean it. I'm not gonna marry no mom. We gotta have a car. Yeah.
So then you wanted them independent women, huh? You know what? You been listening to that Jamie Foxx and I need I love her cause she Hold got up, her Daddy. own. No, uh-uh. She got uh, her uh, own. Dad. Uh, Dad. Dad. Dad, no. Don't make me mad. Daddy, Ooh, no. You no. Never no. Had. There's not many. Dad. That's so Daddy, fly. no. Stop. <laughs> no. That's your dad. I'm wearing dad. Gucci. Okay. No. What You're do you even crazy. know about Neo anyway? I know Neo and Jamie Foxx. We got an album coming out. Oh, Lord. It's called, called uh, Slobber on My Pillow. What? Something's wrong with you. Well, I'm just saying. Okay, what are we gonna name my grandchild, my grandson? Dad, I don't know what I'm having yet. Well, uh, I've been thinking about it, and uh, I think that you should name him in the Ruben franchise, name him after your father, Ruben Jr. No. Okay, Dad, he's not gonna be a junior anyway. No. Well, in theory, he would because he came from the seed of Abraham, which took Isaac up on the mountain. Dad, no, no. Okay, what about... Uh, what if she has a girl? Come on now. Well, if she has a girl, we can still stay with the Ruben brand. Okay. Rubella. <laughs> Daddy, that's a disease. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, what about Ru Rubisha Aljanae Jaquie? LaShawn. You him. are so ghetto. RuPaul. Daddy, that's a drag queen. RuPaul, Ru 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 RuPaul, come on, stop. Don't daddy. get into pop-up stuff. Don't get into pop-up stuff. Daddy, 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 daddy. <gasps> come back, come back. No, okay? I, I mean, I'm just saying. No, uh, how about we do this? Let's just wait until I find out, okay? Well, when do you find out? You got a slow doctor. No. You want DSHS medical? <laughs> no. You got ghetto insurance? You no. need to be under my insurance? After my next appointment, and I'll let you know. Well, when's your next appointment? Next week. It's just... Uh. Goodness. You know, my dreams came true. What dream? My daughter. She got pregnant before she got married. This is the way I wanted it. You got Just jokes? the way I wanted you it. You know what? Just trying to be like you and mama. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello? What up? Uh, good morning. Hey, Earl. What up? I want a, a tall vente latte, mocha choca latte, dot dot, Creole lady mama lad, uh, lactose intolerant whipped cream, double whip. Can't be having no lactate on my belly, all right? Make it hot, snappy, now. One vanilla mocha. Um, can you make mine like an African woman from Nigeria black, please? You got it. Anything for thank you, Earl. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Clayton. How you doing, baby? Good. Me and Earl still in the wedding? Yeah, y'all gonna light the candles for me. All right, so let's talk about honorarium. You what? Honorarium, dear lady, is church speak for how we get in paid. You see, church folk don't like them terms like contract, settlement, fee. They like love often in honorarium. Love seeds. Love seeds. To meet your needs. That's right. Okay, so what is your honorarium? Well, first we gotta talk about our right. Listen up. Two precision lapel microphones, a dressing room well lit, a bowl of peanut M&Ms all yellow with a dash of red, and two $5, $5 foot long. Any, any. Uh-huh. And we also need two Luke dancers. Drop it like it's hot. What? Hold up, hold up. What are Luke dancers? I just told you. Reach over to the front and touch your toes. <laughs> no. No. Every artist needs dancers. All just so happen to come from the Gospel of Luke, two live crew version. This is my Bible. When it reads, don't stop, get it, get it. Don't stop, hump with it. When times are weak, don't, don't stop. When you're feeling weak, get it, get it. When miracle, take it up. God! We thank God. For Brother Lucas Camp, we've been such a blessing to the ministry. Oh, Lord, no. Look at here. Y'all are not family, okay? But I do love you guys. I want y'all to be very low-key. Okay. Come here. Earl, come, come here. Come Earl, before we don't get paid. Look, you're going to light the candle, shut up, and sit down. I'm not paying y'all nothing either. Fine, then. We'll waive the rest of our costs. As long as we get to sit at the buffet line or sit at the buffet line, I want my seat right there. Uh, you know what? Fine. Let's talk about what you coming down the aisle to, because you know you don't d deserve the white dress. And why not? You better not even walk down the aisle with a white dress. Matter of fact, dressing all black like the omen. Clayton, no, you know no! You know, you should have a white dress with a polka dot to represent the sins you committed. Mm-hmm. Or you could have a white dress with zebra print to show how wild you are. Uh, no, no. Madagascar, Gloria, Gloria! No, no. No, I'm wearing white. So what you coming down the aisle to? Luther, no, you here don't. now. Don't no, you no. disrespect Luther. What? I'm sorry, Luther. No. Rest in peace, Luther. Rest in peace, what? Luther. Don't do them like that. This is for digital girls. This is a wedlock wedding. 
You can't do Luther on a wedlock now. Uh-huh. Me and Earl just went to the studio and we got a wedlock wedding dance for you to just walk down the aisle to. What? This is our new wedlock dance called Coming Down the Aisle for You. All right, I listen to it. All right, you come down the aisle to this. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, got it? Yeah. Let go. Oh. Hey. Diddly beat, love it, we is gathered here today. Hey. To put these folk together in matrimony. Hey. We know they ain't saved, so they can't be whole late. Hey. They only getting married cause they got a baby. Hey. Hey. Now do that wedding walk. Do that wedding walk. Do that wedding walk. Do that wedding walk. Now put your comma bun on, put your comma bun on, put your comma bun on, put your comma bun on. Check that bow tie pimp, mirror, mirror, that bow tie pimp, mirror, mirror, that bow tie pimp, mirror, mirror, that bow tie pimp, mirror. Now put your swag on, put your swag on. Hey, hey, hup, in the club. Album dropped July 29th, 2010. Yesterday. Malik, Malik, Malik. Oh, man. Look who showed up. Freaking Malik, bro. Look at them glasses, boy. Got Magmine glasses on his forehead. Sit down, Mr. Magoo. Oh, uh, okay. What's going on with you, brothers? Have a seat, young man. Okay, okay. So. You think you're ready to get married, huh? Well, brother, I mean, the wedding is in a couple of days. I believe I'm ready. I believe, huh? We got a regular old Martin Luther the King, huh? A regular old Martin Luther King Jr., Earl. You know I met Martin Luther King Jr.? No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, brothers, you did brothers, not. Brothers, 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 brothers. Is there something that y'all needed from me? Look, brother, we do the question asking around cheer. Man, that, that's what I'm asking. You don't ask. We'll ask when we're ready. We, we ready. ready. So... You work for the nickel, huh? You a writer, huh? You on that child's point, huh? You run from the cops, huh? You on that subpoena, huh? You on that paper chaser. All right, 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 all right. I do write the sports column for the nickel, and I also have a blog. I'm a blogger. What is blog? What is a blogger? What is blogging? What does blogging actually pay? A blog is an online journal that I update every now and again. Uh, I don't get paid for keeping the blog, but I, I, I just do it for fun. For fun, huh? Yeah. Nah, because the rent is going to be paid in fun. Y'all mess around, had all this fun, and now y'all going to pay the daycare in fun. You going to write a check for four hundred dollars ain't your brother? Nah, I mean, you know, you know, a blog is for... A blog is for entertainment, you know what I'm saying? I get a paycheck from the nickel. Oh, good. So you do, in fact, receive payment on the 1st and the 15th of the month. I guess my money, sir. I guess my money. Good, good, good. So tell us what your 1, 3, 5, and 17-year plan is, my brother. Man, says 17. What you think year 17 just ain't gonna happen? Let's start with 1, 3, and 5 then. Man, I just walked in the door, man. I didn't really expect to be... We didn't expect you to knock up my little baby girl, but you did it. So come out with the plan, glasses. Man, I tell you, if I wasn't... All right, look. Year one, I plan to be promoted from writer to editor of the nickel. That way, my salary will be raised 15%. Year three, I can see myself being in a major market somewhere like, uh, let me see, like Atlanta, D.C. or Charlotte, something like that, somewhere that has like, three professional sports teams. That way, I could have the option of adding my own regional syndicated Don't radio show. Don't touch me! You get your beer lined up today? Okay. It's clean, ain't it, brother? It is. Year five, let me think. Year five, I want to be at a major publication like USA Today. That way, my salary will be increased by 50%, and I have the option of adding my own national syndicated radio and TV station and be that guy. Yeah, how about you sit down, though? Yeah, how about that? Don't be standing up when we talking to you, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, y'all kind of strong for some old man. So you just going to use words that we don't understand, huh? Man, what you talking about? We don't understand what them big words mean, syndication and all. That could be a secret curse word. Yeah, man, syndicate you, cuz. Eastside, oh, Ave, Portland Ave, where you at, Plains. cuz? What they do? All day, what that do, cuz? Case with stilettos. Case with stilettos? No. Oh. Man down. Man so, down. So, Malik, how does your family fit into all this? Well, I mean, of course I'll be doing all this so that I can provide for my family. I want to make sure that Kendra and my son have the best. What, did you talk to her about all this? Well, I mean, I assume when the time came, we would have that discussion. Does Kendra want to move? Well, I mean, like I said, I assume that we were going to... Assumptions, my brother, is the root of all evil. 
Man, ain't that the love of money? Don't correct me. I'm just saying. Listen, what if Kendra don't want to move? What if she don't want to stay at home with the baby? What if she expect you to stay home with the baby? Hey, wait, hey, wait. hey, 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 hey. It's the woman's job to take care of the kids and cook and clean and all that. Oh! It was in 1950, uh -huh. but it was also the man's job to spray us down with the water hose. We wasn't even doing nothing and get the dog on us. <laughs> 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 Look here, young brother. It's too early in the morning, man. We know you ain't got all the answers right now. But before you go and sign on the dotted line, how about you talk to your bride-to-be so she don't become your divorcee? And you can ask your father-in-law a thing too about divorce. Ain't that right, Ruben? Oh. Oh, man. Hey, brother, I need you to hold on to this. And do not lose it, all right? Don't lose it. I got you. All right. Ooh. Or you can ask your mother-in-law a thing or two about divorce. Ask me what? Nothing. Never mind. Hi, Mom. See that, Earl? Oh, I seen it. She act like she didn't even see Ruben. We're here live with Ruben. Ruben, how does it make you feel that your previous wife, your ex-wife... My ex-wife? Yes. Of 20 plus years, just walk by your brother, acting like you didn't exist. A ghost, a Casper even, but you're not feeling friendly there, are you, Rube? What's that? We have Earl live on location. The cheater's here. So, Kayla, how did you feel cheating on your husband? He's over there fighting a war for you, for your country. Shut up. Looks like we're not getting anything here, Clayton. You're Clayton, I'm Earl, we'll see you guys later. Get my coffee, Earl, get my coffee. Say, say, Pop, <laughs> uh, I need to rush something by you real quick, man. Sure, man. My phone is acting up. Can you take me to this print store? Yeah, I got you, man. Can I ride with you? I ain't got no gas. Man, you ain't never got no gas. All right. Kenny. Huh? Are you really going to let Clayton and Earl be in your wedding? Yeah, Mama, they don't mean no harm. Did you see how they just tried to embarrass me? Yes, In front of your dad? Mama, it's okay. Let's just drop it. What's going on with the wedding? How's the progress? All right. We doing okay? Go ahead, sit down, sit down, sit down. Okay. I got some stuff to show you. We got some changes, all right? Uh -oh. Nothing major. Okay? Okay. Okay, listen. Instead of, uh, we're gonna use ruffled tablecloths instead of the plain ones. Okay? okay? It's gonna cost a little more, but it's gonna look really nice. All right, that sounds good. That's not too bad. Okay, and let me see here. Oh, um, the caterer that we picked. Yeah, honey, they were double booked. Mom. So, 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 we're gonna have to go with Elegant Delights. Elegant Delights? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit more, but it's gonna be nice. Were they like twice the cost of Desiree's? Yeah, they're, they're expensive, but you know Dave that delivers our pastries here? Yeah. He's gonna cut us a deal. He works for them, so he's gonna cut us a deal. It's gonna be a little bit more, but it's gonna be nice. Don't worry about it. Right now, it just is what it is. Well, did you talk to Daddy? Because that's like more money out of his pocket, and you know how he is. Yeah, um, I will find time to talk to your dad when I find some time to talk to your dad, all right? Right Aww. now, it just is what it is. We just got to go with it. All right, well, how's my dress? They got the measurements. I'm good. You know what? They did not call me back. I'm going to go by there this afternoon, and I'll check on that, so don't worry about it. We got to make sure we have room for that little baby bum. Hum, I am not showing yet. Um, excuse me. Don't nobody want to see a pooch, oh. all right? So we just got to make sure we pay attention to all the details. Yes, ma'am. All right. Great. All right, okay, all right. Mm. What's wrong with you? I'm just stressed. About the baby, is it all right? No, it's not the baby. Then what? It's us, what? our family. This is so awkward right now, Mom. It's a wedding, Kayla. Mom, this is not how I imagined my wedding week to be. I just feel like you and Daddy are just dealing with each other until the wedding, and then you guys won't even speak again. Yeah, you know, we're divorced. Do you Kinda realize happens. you guys haven't had one conversation that didn't end in an argument since you've been here? When Kristen and I were little, you taught us to communicate, to talk to each other. And you and Daddy don't even do that anymore. Yeah, okay. It's like everything you taught us is backwards now. Mom, you know when I was little, I watched you and Daddy. You'd be in the kitchen, you'd be cooking, and Daddy, he would come up behind you, he'd startle you, and you'd jump. But he'd wrap his, he'd wrap his arms around you. I saw your face, you would smile. 
Yeah, Kendra, you that whispered, was a long time Mom, ago. Mom, he would whisper in your ear that he loved you. Yeah. You know, my whole life, I wanted to model my marriage off of what you and Daddy had. And then all of a sudden, it just fell apart. What if that happens to me? What if that happens to me and Malik? What if this marriage just is doomed? What if it goes downhill? Like, what if I'm not going to be a good wife? What okay. if I can't okay, do this, okay, Mom? What if okay. I'm not going to have enough time? All I don't right, need... all right. Listen, stop panicking. Take a breath. Breathe. Take it easy. Listen, you're going to be okay. You just got to remember, like I did, that I had a life, or like I forgot to. I had a life before I got married. What do you mean, Mom? I'm just saying, you know, you're panicking, you're getting all upset. Just remember that you have a life, that you have dreams and goals. You know, you want to do that whole reporter thing, right? Yes. I love that. Don't let go of that so quick. I know Malik wants you to have the baby and then stay home. Just make sure that's what you want to do. I know you want to be a reporter, though, so if you want to have the baby and after a while put the baby in daycare and then go back to work, that's fine, too. You just make sure that's what you want, all right? And you make sure you communicate that, okay? Because otherwise, you're going to get stuck. And once you're stuck, you're frustrated. Is that what happened to you and Daddy? <laughs> Girl, with me and your dad, I got pregnant. Yeah. Mom. And we had to get married. Honey, we wasn't playing with that. Your father was adamant that he was going to take care of everything, right? You know that. I know. That's why I he know. joined the Army. You're right. It was nice at first. You know, we were friends and in love and all of that cute stuff. But then the roles. I was mommy and he was daddy. And I was a housewife and he was a sergeant. You know, it was 15 years and we're just kind of like roommates. You know what I mean? Then he got the orders to go to Iraq, and it just, girl, went all downhill from there. And then I met Andrew. Whoa, whoa, and whoa, hold up. Mama, I don't want to hear anything about him at all. Can I finish? No, this? no, he's the reason why we're in this mess now. <sighs> hey, hey, I feel like spending some money on my future niece. I don't even know what I'm having. Think greens and yellows. We'll greens buy some unisex yellows. stuff. <laughs> Mom, you want to come? No, you guys go ahead. I'll be here. Aww. Hey, Ron. Come on. How you doing, Ron? Thank you. Thank you. Let me see here. Oh, we got so much to do. I'm going to make this phone call. No need to wait outside. You can stand in here. We got a bear claw. They're a delicacy here, man. Oh, thank you. Hey, y'all. Hey, look, uh, uh, um, Kayla, we said that, that this lady outside, she was just waiting, so we uh, want to introduce you. Um, this is the owner. What, what was your name again? Um, Melissa. Melissa. Melissa, this is Kayla. Kayla, Melissa. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Kayla, I'm going to go ahead and get her hot chocolate, all right? Okay. Bear claw, even? Uh, That's fine. You know, I'm fine, really. Oh, if she don't I eat it, I'll take it. I'll take the bear claw. Are... Yes, you are fine. Thank I, you, Earl. Can I take it? <laughs> yeah, keep on blocking, brother. All right, I guess I'll just have one maybe then. All right, Kayla, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my tab. Uh, we don't have no tabs here, sir. That'll be $4.88. Never fret, I will just use some of my social security that I get each month, income each month. I get $1,732 on the third of each month. Gonna use that to pay, all right? Mm-hmm. This is such a nice place. Are you you're the owner? I am the owner, thank you very oh, much. My. It's a lot of work, but you know, I like the sense of independence I get having my own place. That's so nice, yeah. you know. It's rare that you see women owning their own business these days. Oh, don't get me wrong, it's a lot of work. It takes a lot to hold this together, but you know, it'll be nice because I can leave something for my kids. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, I have got to go, I forgot. Is something. everything okay? No, I'm fine. I gotta run down to the dry cleaners and check on that dress. Can y'all watch the shop for just a few minutes for One me? One free bear claw every lunch break. Fine. Are you going to blackmail me too? No, I'm not going to blackmail you. I believe in what you're doing as a strong black woman. You got right. your own business. Right. Michelle Obama. Right. Susan B. Anthony. Okay. Thank you. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Thank you so much. There you go. <laughs> Excuse me real quick. <laughs> so, um, is the person you waiting on happen to be male or female? Clayton! What, Earl? 
I'm actually waiting for my fiance. Oh, you are, huh? Ah. Give me back my hot chocolate Ooh. then. Like a free. You insisted, remember? You let me on with your blue eyes. See, that's what Malcolm X was talking about, your blue eyed devil. Hey, Clayton. He, he don't mean nothing. Oh, I meant it all. No, you don't. Con congratulations. Thank so you. <laughs> well, um, we haven't set a date yet. And honestly, we just met, but it just feels so right. Who cares you know about your it... stupid wedding? Who's gonna love me, huh, Precious? Oh, I'm sure you will find someone. Who's gonna hold me at night? Oh. Fried chicken oh. now, Precious! Clayton! 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 I'm sorry about my brother. But look, um, is this brother you engaged to, uh, is it fellow you engaged to, or brother? Uh, yes, I mean, why does it matter? I'm trying to ask you, I'm trying to help you out. You got a problem with me? We're trying to help. Um, yes, he is. Okay, good, good. Yeah. Uh, what type of church does he go to? He goes to a Pentecostal Pentecostal. church. Pentecostal. Is that a new Spanish church? <laughs> I think she means Pentecostal. Pente oh, Pente Pentecostal. P-A-W. Pentecostal. Yeah, Pentecostal. There you go. Pentecostal. You got me with the Pentecostal. You got to be Costal. Mm -hmm. Pentecostal. Coastal is the beach. Ca Castle. Okay. Castle. Castle. There, there you go, Pentecostal. And what type of church you go to? I'm Catholic. Oh. Yeah. What? Is Look, there something wrong? No. If you ain't never been to no Pentecostal holiness church, you're going to be in for a rude awakening. A rude, ravishing, wick rude awakening. Yeah? Yeah. And when they go to catching the spirit and stuff, you're going to be scared, baby. I doubt it's that bad. Oh. It's really? that bad. Listen to me, blue eyes. Now you're in luck. Me and Earl gonna teach you how to catch the spirit, all right? Okay. To catch catch the what? I don't get it. Now look, my brother got this here bottle, and all you gotta do is spell Coke backwards. That's all you gotta do, spell Coke backwards. E-K-O-C, e yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. There you go. Hey. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold hey. it, hold it, hold it. Don't let the Lord use you yet. Don't let the Lord use you yet. Don't get into it, my brother. Are you ready? Uh, Go ahead, yeah. try it. Go ahead. Oh. E K O C A A A. No, okay, no, 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 no. Be, be ugly with it. Show sure, again. Look, E K A E K O C. Hey, yeah, 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 All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. <laughs> Clayton, come back! Come back! Clayton, come back! You gotta cry ugly if you're gonna cry. <laughs> Clayton. Now look, add the moves. E K O C A. Hey, there E K O C. There you go. Mm -hmm. You got that? Right. Ah, right there. There you go. I think so. Go ahead, you try it. E K O C A A yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, Billy Ocean Billy Ocean, Ocean. say Billy Ocean oh, Billy, Billy Ocean. Ocean good you almost That's got it girl Dana? she close she close now you know how to catch the spirit mm -hmm. but you also gotta learn how to dance because oh. when they start to dance and you go clapping on one and three and doing all that stuff you are gonna look silly now mm -hmm. I don't wanna do that so when they get to shout the first thing you wanna do is the holy chicken show her Earl. the whole the, the holy chicken yeah look look. Do it, do it. There you go. Black like harder, harder. Be loose with it. Yeah, be loose with it. There you go. Good, good, good. That's hard. Now you got it. Now you got to add the slip and slide. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Wait, let's put loose more Michael Jackson. There you go. There hey. it is. Whoa, hey. She got it, brother. She almost took me right in. <laughs> she took you. This After that, you want to add the, uh, 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 the hip and turn. Hey! To it. Oh! Hey! Oh! Go ahead. Hey! Roll the dice with it. Hey! Hey! There you go. Good. Snake hey. eye. Snake eyes hey. for Jesus. Hey! Go! No, not yet, Earl. And the last step, the last step is the bobble head. Go ahead, Earl. Show up the block. Okay. Just go with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right here from the neck, 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 from the neck. Uh-huh. Faster, faster, faster. Like you having a seizure. There you go. There you go. Like that. I can't do that. So when the music catch on, you better get to going. You ready? Okay. 
What is going on? Where is my mom? Don't tell me she left the coffee shop to you guys. For your information, we sold a hot chocolate for your mama's coffee shop. Precious, I do's my work. Whatever, Clayton. And since uh, she went to uh -huh. go get your dress, what? and she didn't pay us, I take my pay in food. Earl, Don't put take it the back. whole thing, Earl. Earl. They gotta run a Earl. business. Oh. Put Just it down. Take one, yo, greedy bum. You don't need to be taking none of them. Kendra, we're gonna That's leave this enough. woman with you. She's waiting for her friend. Stop. Earl, you're greedy. I got one for you. I'm gonna go get a haircut for your wedding. I'm gonna be brand new fresh for your wedding, all right? All right. Say goodbye to the curls. Oh, bye curls. Um, ma'am, did they, did they bother you? No, 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 not at all. But they did give me a good laugh, though, I have to say. Oh, all right. I'm just... Uh, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm just waiting for a friend, so I'm just gonna wait right over here. All right, can you Okay. I gotta move this box for mom. <laughs> Always playing, always playing. Y'all still fall for that every time. It's you funny. You goofy. You know mm -hmm. what, Kendra? I had a great talk with Malik when we went down, and um, I just want to tell you that <sighs> I am very proud of you. I'm very proud of your selection as a man. He has a very good plan to provide and protect for you and my grandchild. And as a father, that's all that you could ask for, you know, because you just never know. He has a job. I mean, he wants to buy a home. You know, he has, he's ambitious. And just, I just want to tell you that I'm happy for you. I'm looking forward to the wedding day. I'm looking forward to adding him as, as an addition to the family. So I'm just proud of you. Yeah, thanks, Dad. Yep, I know Malik. He's definitely that type of guy, ready to, you know, protect, you know, provide, put food on the table, table do all that stuff, all that, hey. whatever you want to call hey, it. Hey, I'm trying to get I a hold just... of you all day. Uh, my phone was messed up. I had to go down the Sprint. Yeah, I could. I, I, and so I paid the bill. I had to come down and find you. Right, right, right. I went down the Sprint oh and it was acting up. I'm not on prepaid so anymore. Is broken? No, it was, I couldn't call or text. So I, nothing, I don't, and yes. Oh, sorry. Hey, um, these are my daughters. This is Kendra and Kristen. Everybody, this is Melissa. Hi, Hi. nice to finally meet you. Is this, Daddy, is this your girlfriend? Um, actually, you, <laughs> we can do something. Are can. you sure? <laughs> this, this, is, um, this is my fiance. What? <laughs> Daddy, you're engaged? Yes, yes, I am. When was you going to tell us? You know, get, we, it's fine. we were just waiting Excuse for the me, right excuse me, excuse me. My sister wasn't talking to you. She was talking to our dad. We know that this D might be upsetting at first. What right. is this we stuff? Come. Okay, oh. listen, we were going to tell you guys. It just wasn't the right time. And it just oh. happened and to be it now. Is. And it's. We it's didn't a want a relationship to come in the way of your wedding. And we know how much Malik means to you. And you're pregnant, so we wanted to whoa. time it right. Whoa, you whoa, whoa, time me. out. How does she know I'm pregnant? You're my daughter. What am I supposed to do? Not talk to you? You just told the whole world then? Yeah. Daddy, you I know what? I talk about you all the time. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, father. it's not a secret. You know what? This is not the right time. This was not timed right at all. This is wrong. Very, very wrong. I really think you guys are overreacting. Are you what? serious, Dad? I mean, this is, we're adults. You're adults, you're adults, you understand? Things happen, we move on. I just didn't let you guys know. I just, because of this reaction right here. Are you, oh my. <laughs> watch out, girl, watch out. <laughs> What's wrong with y'all? Y'all look like you just saw a ghost. We did. Mom. What? Let me introduce you to someone. That's Melissa, daddy's fiance. Your what? Yeah, mom, that's your husband's fiance. Reuben, you're engaged? 
Uh, yes, I am. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mom. Meet your husband's fiance. I guess we got um, two weddings. Ex-husband, ah. Kristen, stop that. Ruben, how could you bring her here now? Well, actually, first of all, I didn't bring her here. She chose to come down here, and that's okay with me. I'm actually, sorry. I, I apologize for coming unannounced. I, I was trying to get hold of Ruben, and his, his phone wasn't working, so I got really... My phone? Y'all knew my I, phone was messed up. You know up. what? You know what? Down. This is family time, and this is drama, Ruben. Not now. Actually, this is as good a time as any. Um, Melissa, you're, you're here with me. You're fine. You don't have to apologize. You guys are really out of control. You know what? Sorry, Dad. This is not the right time, okay? I don't know her. I don't like her. It's my wedding weekend. She has to go. She sure do. Now you're being disrespectful, and I don't appreciate it. You both are out of line. Kayla, we still have the last of this little budget to fix up tomorrow morning, correct? Kayla? Kayla? Yes? Okay. I will see you all in the morning. I'm sorry about that. Come on, it's okay. I should have, no, me neither. They're crazy, it's fine. Y'all can text me, tell me that man was here. I'm, Mom, if I knew. She gets here real quick. Oh, man. Ooh. Turn on, brother. All right. As you may have heard, I have just broke the biggest free agent story in the league. Nick Jackson, Juan Davis, and Ben Snell all agreeing to take less money and play for a championship in Tampa. This has never been done in the league before. Usually you see players come together towards the end of their career, but these gentlemen are the elite and can easily command maximum deals. If you're a basketball fan in Tampa, get ready to win a lot of championships. This is the doctor, Malik Dexter, MD. Yeah, that looks good, that looks good. Ooh, man, I cannot believe that I got the biggest story in league history. Me, Malik, after all these years grinding, I finally got that big break. Oh, man, this is major. Phone ringing? I don't answer phone numbers, I don't know. Bill collectors? Hello? Oh, hello, hello, hello. Yes, this is Malik. This is Malik. Um, well, uh, I got the story because I used to cover Nick when we went to school together at UW. Yeah. Um, we met up, and he was talking to me about how he was unhappy about how the organization was painting him as money hungry, and um, he just wanted to state his place and clear the air. Yeah, yeah, well, um, Nick and Juan played together in AAU, and they gave me the all okay to break the story. So, you want to use my story and attach it to your site? Oh, you're talking about a job. Oh, oh okay, all right. Well, let me, let me get this straight. I'll be able to have my own column. I'll be able to continue my blog and I'll be the feature league analyst at all the major sporting events. Well, would I have to move? No, 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 that's, that's not a problem, that's not a problem. Um, I got something to handle uh, here in the next couple of days, but how about you email me the specifics and um, I'll go over those and uh, within the next 36 hours, I'll give you the final answer. 
Yeah? Cool, cool. Uh, no, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate the phone call. No, I thought you were a bill collector. I was almost going to pick up. It's all right. It's all right. You know how it goes. Thank you. Bye-bye. Whew. Man, they talk about some money. <laughs> oh, I need this right now, boy. Oh. Hey, babe, girl. Yeah. They're supposed to be coming here carrying nothing heavy. Girl, you carrying my seeds and everything. I know. Thank you. Just where you want? Where you want this? Put it on the table or the right, stool right, for right, mom. Right, I guess right, that's right. fine. All it's right. inventory stuff. I gotta Is go it? through it. Hey, before you hug huh? on that, girl, come what? on, man. Oh, I gotta do my happy dance. I gotta do Wait, my happy what? dance. What are you happy? About? Okay. Stanky uh, leg. Uh uh. Uh ain't no stanky leg. Uh uh. Malik, no, baby. What's no, going hey, on? All right, all right. I'm goofing. I'm goofing. I'm no. But guess who I just got off the phone with, baby? Who? Man, that was Megasports.com, baby. They offered me a job. Really? Who, girl? They heard about the interview, and they want to attach it to their site. Man, they talking about some money. <gasps> that sounds. I'm good. Hey, I'm juiced about this, baby. That sounds great, babe. I'm happy for you. Congratulations. Oh, man. And the money they're talking about, girl, they're talking about 75 racks off top, babe. With that kind of money and the cost of living in Charlotte, which, by the way, we may have to move. Oh, okay. But Thanks. that, I mean, I could take care of everything. The mortgage, you know what I'm saying? You could stay at home with, with MJ and just chill out. Yep, that's great. I'm happy anyway. for you. Congratulations. What we count, huh? That's one, one two, 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 three, four. Yeah, so that's enough. Let me what? grab this. Ma Malik. No, nah, no, nah, man. You playing. See? Stop. No, you playing, man. I got this good news, and you over here, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is big news for us, baby. What's on your mind? I... Talk to me. So have a seat. Have a seat. Uh, Talk to me. It's just a lot right now. I know, man. I'm serious. Mom and dad getting a divorce. Yeah. Dad's engaged. Oh, to the white girl, huh? Don't remind me. <laughs> man. The wedding's around the corner, and now you just told me we might have to move? Yes, yeah, possibility. Hey, Rick, I'm happy for you, but it's just too much. I mean, my mind is going a mile a minute, and I cannot turn it off. I don't know. I'm, yeah, I don't know. But you know, but I know you, you little worry ward. I'm not a worry ward. Man, babe, look. Whatever you say. It. All right, now look, embrace me. What? Look, I know <laughs> things is getting a little hectic. I know things is getting a little hectic, but this is a huge door that God has opened for us. I'm just, I'm just excited. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about this opportunity, you know. As long as we stay balanced, and everything's going to be all right, you know what I'm saying? I promise you, I promise you this, babe. Look at me in my face. I promise you this. Nothing will ever come between us. All right. I can make that promise. You think so? I know so. You sure? Girl, you talking to Malik. What you, you talking about? Whatever, you positive. Man, I got this girl. Whatever. Some of this, uh, no, you're playing too much. I you know. didn't even let me finish my work. I got yeah. work to finish. Man, I got work to finish. Yeah, I ain't seen you in a couple days. What you Whatever, you being goofy. Good morning. Why hey. is she always coming in when I'm trying to get some action? <laughs> Go, journal. Are you coming over here with a bad attitude, girl? What's the matter? I've been trying to call your dad all night. He ain't Why he got to be my phone. daddy? He probably with that old girl. Who knows what she's putting in his head? Man, y'all can hush all that because y'all know that we went to the store to get his phone fixed. You know what's messed up. Tell him he owe you a thank you because I was mad. Mm -hmm. You know what? I cannot believe Daddy's engaged and he didn't tell us anything about it. That's not even like him to keep stuff from us. Girl, this wedding has everybody acting out of character. I'm saying he brought that girl mm -hmm. thing, whatever you want to call her, brought her here. That whole situation was awkward and random. Remember how Dad used to always get on us when we were kids about saying, telling half the truth was like telling a whole lie? And here he go, not only getting a girlfriend, but he's engaged, never even told us. I mean, we live in the same town. At least he could have did was text it to us or something. And this is exactly why I'm cool on getting married, because I can't even imagine giving anybody 30 years of my life and it ends like this? Mm -mm. Yes, I mean, they treated each other like strangers yesterday. Didn't even speak a word. Yet they got two kids in 30 years of history. I'm saying, just why would you rush and get engaged after being with somebody for that long? You know, it doesn't even make sense. And you know, come to think of it, Daddy doesn't even make quick decisions like this. This might have been why he didn't even tell us where he was living. You're right. I don't know, I know, I picked those up the other day. Cute girl. Hi, Mama. Hey, Mom. 
Hey, girls. Um, hey, Malik. Hey, what's happening, Mom? Y'all ready to finish this stuff up? Oh, Mom, can we do something different? I don't know. I feel like doing this right now. No, we cannot. The wedding is almost here. We got to finish this up. Mom, Mom I, I know, know you want to act like, like your husband didn't just bring another gal up in here. But, but he did. did. If so if you need a shoulder, I got you, boo. Kristen, it's really okay. We just got to finish all this stuff up, all right? Listen, you guys, your dad is going to do what your dad wants to do. Obviously, nobody can stop him, all right? I'm just saying, does it bother me that he came up in here with that gal? Yeah, but... Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well, Mom. What? What? What do you want me to do? Excuse me, Mom. excuse me. What? what? Y'all ain't got to come at me all aggressive like that. I'm just saying. <laughs> Can I offer up my opinion from a male point no, of view? No, no, you can't. Fine, fine. Come All right. I'm just going to put it out there. I ain't scared of y'all. <laughs> Your father was pushed to this. Huh, See, okay. This no. You're going to have to explain yourself. I don't have no problem with that. I'm just saying, your father had to hear while he was overseas that his wife had been unfaithful. I mean, and we all know Pops. We all know Pops is a proud man. What do you expect him to do, to go hide in a cave? That'd be cool. I mean, I mean, check it out. He was probably hurt by the situation, too. But honestly, I feel like his hand was forced a little bit. Whoa, you, you see Mama right there. How can you sit up there and say that to her? I mean, I'm not, see, don't make it, don't turn it into that. I'm not trying to be disrespectful to you or to your mother. I'm just saying, when's the last time anybody's looked on the shoe on the other foot? I mean, how would you feel if I cheated on you, babe? That wouldn't happen. No, because you cut people. <laughs> I've seen it before. It's not pretty. I get that from my sister. Mm, Y'all both crazy. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know, oh, it's, man. a man's th it's a man's thing, you know, tit for tat. If you hurt me, I'm going to hurt you back. Like I said, he was probably messed up in the mind, hurt in his heart and he just really didn't know other, any other way to deal with the situation. But bring that girl down here? He gonna bring her to my mom's what? Come on. I'm, look, I know I'm not taking away anything away from the wedding coming up or anything like that, but when is a good time for a man to introduce a new woman into the family? Don't do that. I mean, either way, he brought out this information, all y'all was gonna act just how y'all acting right now. I'm gonna need you to stop acting like you know and us. And I'm gonna need you to stop acting like I don't know y'all. I'm just saying. <sighs> whatever. Listen, okay, listen. Malik is right, all right? I don't owe your dad anything, and your dad certainly doesn't owe me anything. <laughs> you can't be serious, She's Mama. She's not serious. I am serious, all right? Let's just drop it. Move on, please. Oh, my gosh. You're crazy. Thanks. Hey, sorry I'm late, <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, are you serious? You are today. <laughs> Sir. What? I said I'm sorry I'm late. <laughs> hey, hey, all right, don't, all right, don't, don't, all right. Don't trip. Let's, not don't, do don't trip. Let's not do this. Let's not do this right Have now. A <laughs> Have a seat. Now I don't need you cutting nobody today. Y'all ready? <laughs> yes, we're ready. Nice of okay. you to show up. Oh, Forgive Here me. Here you go. Sure. Here you go. Thank you. There you go. Can you pass me one, please. There you go. Are you just going? You got extra ones and you didn't handle one. I Here need to read a lot. Can I? Can you just give me, just give me one. <sighs> All right, let's just go from the top. All right. Mm. Mm. So mm. we're going to take separate cars to the church. All right. The girls are going to get know, dressed. I have an idea. Why don't we do this? Instead of taking separate cars, why don't we just get a big limo? I would like a limo. Kendra, think about it. I got it. an idea. We good. No, why don't you be quiet? Kendra? Yeah, okay. Like I said, we're going to take separate cars to the church. Thank you, Mom. The girls are going to get dressed here, and idea. then we're going to leave, and then everybody should be ready. We'll get there, and we'll get going, all right? Um, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. The catering is all handled. All right, we're going to go with yeah, elegant no, I, delight. And, um, wait. Now, when we started this process, and this is an Excel sheet here, this is called a budget. And budget means that we had a certain amount of money that we were going to allot to certain things, right? Now, what I see here, when you got to catering, you try to jump past that quickly. I know how you do. Um, <laughs> It said we had uh, $2,500 set aside to Desiree's. 
And about a month ago, this looks like it's been redacted to read Elegant Delights for almost double. Yeah, Desiree's was double booked. Swish. You know what? It's all right. I will take care of that. You got money like that? Well, it's... <laughs> it's not about you paying for it. It's about communication and letting somebody know something. Yeah. Just common courtesy. Okay, so now you know. All right, moving on. All right, so the videographer is going to follow you, Kendra, around all day. Video? For $1,200. No. That's actually a really good price. Okay. okay. And I'm, you know, it's maybe just me. I don't know. I always got something I don't to know say. how many people rewatch their wedding video. We so I really think it's, you already got the photos by Tobias, and, he, you know, they're very good. We don't need... We don't, we don't need the videographer. That's just extra money. We're not going to rewatch your wedding. It's okay. You know what? Kendra, we want you to enjoy your wedding day. And so don't worry about it. I'm going to put that on my tab. Oh, we got a tab? Remember them centerpieces? No, Kristen. Put no, that on the tab. No, no, Kristen. No, sis. No, I don't want them. I don't want them. Man. Okay. So I ordered extra flowers. You just supersized everything, didn't you? <laughs> and um, let's see, what is the last thing? Oh, did you guys all look at the seating chart that I sent? Yeah, I did. No, you were I supposed saw. to email it. I did email it, Ruben. <laughs> it's on the back. Okay. Ah, da, 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 da. There it is. You know what? This is disrespectful. <laughs> this, that's, that's, that's just disrespectful. How can you not have me at the head table? It looks like you got. Me, my mom, my dad, and I'm guessing this figure here is supposed to be Melissa sitting somewhere else other than the head table? Sucks to be in the dark, don't it? The well, head I mean, table was full. The head, oh, the head table's full. It got full, sorry. The head table, the head table is full. <laughs> yes, Okay, full. so Kendra, your father, your only one, that's financing this? It's, it's you okay with me not sitting at the head table? You know what? Like You're okay with that? You're okay with that too? Hey, I can't you okay do this. With that? I can't here. do this anymore. I'm, I'm not out. about to sit up here and be hey, fake. I'm glad somebody said it. You guys Excuse do what you want to do for my wedding and let me know what you decide. I'm hungry. I'm leaving. Come on, baby. They, she was about to get us a limo, girl. No. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Ruben. Can, can you can you excuse us for a second? Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. Okay. I hear you. All right. I know, I know, I know, I know I'm penny pinching. And uh, all I ask is you just let me know I know it's the baby's birth, the birthday. I know it's her wedding day. I just, I just want you to let me know. I want her to have anything that she wants. Right. Okay, well. How much do you need? All of that? Mm. Can I put a down payment on it and then? No. Pay the rest online? No. Mm. Okay. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's your daughter. It is. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of it. Mm-hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. You wearing eyeshadow, huh? <laughs> yeah. When, um, you, when you start doing that? I've always worn eyeshadow. No, you ain't never worn that one. Not, you ain't, I asked for eyeshadow years ago. That's all I'm saying. It's just a different color, okay? Mm, brings out your eyes. They've always been there. Mm, not like that. <laughs> You're wearing hats now. I, well, you know, I got it online. Is I, that fashion or No, I just, you know. Necessity. Um, it's just something different. I'm yeah. trying something out. Um, you know, Ruben. Um, there's something I've always, like, kind of wanted to talk to you about. What? Your hair. 
<laughs> now I got it. Why did you? Why you start wearing your hair like I like it, or I asked you to wear it once I'm gone? Do you do that on purpose? Cause you know I'm about to come back no, around. I just kind of like you know, just change it up a little bit. Whatever. I can see the tag on the wig. It don't matter. <laughs> but I like it. I like it. It looks nice. You look nice. Thank you look you. nice. You look nice. That's all Thank I'm saying. You. Thank so. you. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. So. Uh, I'll take care of it. Let's go. Ah, oh, man, that was delicious, girl. It was good. Man, now I told I'm you about full. getting cheese on your hamburgers. Now you know you're lactose intolerant. I am not lactose. I can have cheese. It stops you up, girl. And really? it'd be a, a terrible situation when I come after you. Oh. Girl. <laughs> I have to finish that stuff for mom. Oh, I okay, really do. Okay, okay. I have to finish it. I can dig it. Um, but before you get to work, babe, 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 babe. Before you get to work, come, what? come to the front. Come to the front. What? We gotta finish what we was talking about. Why are you getting all hasty? It's gonna I'm be all not. hasty. I'm not trying to bite you. Not yet. What's up? Look, now I know things is getting hectic. I mean, it's your parents' divorce and um, your dad bringing his, his fiance into the mix. Um, but we really need to talk about us. You know what I'm saying? Like, once we get married, girl, I need you to know that that's it. I know. I know. I know. I'm just, I'm getting scared. I mean, do you ever think that we're making this decision too fast? No, not at all. I mean, look, we both have promising careers. I'm a reporter, you're a journalist. I am. Both of our jobs call us to travel. Like, we might not even see each other a lot. How are we gonna do this, for real? I mean, but what about, what about family? You are the most important thing to me. I wanna make sure that I do right by you you know what I'm saying? My little one and, and our future kids. Whoa, whoa. What are you talking about, future kids? You know what I'm talking about, future kids, girl. Fu future kids, Malik? Future are you serious? Now, you know I'm a sharpshooter. Now, I need at least four. Split down the middle, two boys, two girls, to leave room for an accident and or an accident? <laughs> no, and, and who's gonna be raising all these kids, man? You got dreams of me popping out kid after kid? Not like, like right, right after. I mean, you gotta give that a little bit of rest. You know what I'm saying? How am I supposed to be successful as a reporter if I always have to take time off to raise your kids? Babe, babe, I'm not saying to you that you have to quit your job. What I'm saying is that I'm gonna be making enough to provide for the household so that you won't have to worry about going to a job. I wanna work, that's my point. All right, there's no argument. You wanna work? Work. It's more money in our pocket. It's you know, I, I don't even know why we're talking about this. Just seeing mom and dad divorce and fall apart, it makes me worried. Why like, you? what if what happened to them happens to us? What are we gonna do then, huh? Hush that, because we're not your parents. You understand? I mean, for instance, you know what I'm saying? We was friends long before we got together. Because as I recall, when we had met, you were sitting next to this big hair boy. He didn't have a big, Malik, no, he didn't have a big hair. his forehead was like 12. No, it wasn't that bad. No, I'm just saying. I'm just, look, look, no, I'm just saying. As soon as I had to get him out the way, you know what I'm saying? Who snatched who up? I'm just saying. Whatever. You know what I mean? I need you to know, I need you to know this. You know what I'm saying? As soon as we take those vows, it's me and you forever. Understand? Said on this day, I changed my life when my best friend becomes my wife it's much too late to turn back now so baby i'll stand up tall and i'll take my vows girl it's me and you forever i ain't gonna walk out on you baby that's not what a real man would do no 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 hey I made my bed, now I'm gonna sleep there. Till death was 
<laughs> you ain't gotta worry, baby. I will always be there. Said I'm gonna be a dad. Said a father in the home. Said I'm gonna keep you first. Said you'll never ever be alone. From sick or help, baby. I'm poor or rich. Sugar. Said I'll be there, baby. So I promise this, baby. Because what you see, baby, is what you get, baby. And what you get, baby, is happiness, baby. So I'm gonna be the best man I can be. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna take care of my family. So won't you sing it with me? I'm gonna yeah. be the best man I can be. I'm gonna be the best man I can be. I'm gonna take care of I'm gonna take care family. of you and my baby, my baby. I'm gonna oh yeah. Be the best man I can be. You better, you better wear those jeans, girl. I'm gonna yeah. take care yeah. of it's gonna be me and you till you know I got gotcha. you always. Yeah, you don't have to worry. I got your back, baby. I got your back, baby. All your back, baby. I got you. I got you. You know I got you, baby. You know I got you, baby. Okay, 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 baby, baby. You can't. No. You can't interrupt me when I'm hitting my nose. Baby, baby, baby. I have to finish working, okay? Man. I gotta finish this inventory for mom. You playing? Yeah. You playing? Let me let me get your inventory. Stop one it! Time. Stop it! I'm <laughs> just saying. Stop it! We don't gotta wait till we know who he is. I was just checking on your ADT, make sure your alarm didn't go off, that's all. Right. We helping, we wanted to help. Yeah, we did. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure, sure, sure. You gotta help me with something. Did I got you, so much going on, I can't keep up. Did you check out my Bruce Leroy brother right here? I got See a new haircut new... at J. Kenlo's. That's nice, brother. That's, I call it the Justin yeah. Bieber. Yeah, the... <laughs> yeah, that's baby, something. Baby. You that's... upset, why are you upset? I'm Shooter? upset because I'm behind, okay? Does anybody listen to me? I'm behind. I got a million things to do. I see why Ruben Dunn left you. All right. Ooh. I'm you sorry. You in my that shop. Was, that was hurtful. That I'm was sorry. hurtful. I'm sorry. You just, you came at me, cuz. Mm. Right. I have a million things to do and well, nobody. Hey, how about this? Me and Earl will keep an eye on the shop for you for a little while. We'll, we'll do that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Really? Yeah. yeah. Look, all I'm asking is free coffee and free bear claws for a whole month. Can y'all watch this shop? We can do it, girl. Mm -hmm. We believe in you. Go ahead now. Scrams, get. All right, get. good. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go. You guys watch the shop. I'm going to go do these things. OK, now. Thank you. I could kiss both of y'all right there. Uh, kissing is what got your marriage in trouble in the first place. You're so funny. I and, know. I love fat. you too, baby. Thank you. I don't know why we said that, Earl. We don't know nothing about making no coffee. I don't, but I'm about to eat breakfast now. Hello, uh, welcome to Fresh Cup. Fresh Cup. I need a venti eight pump, sugar-free vanilla, no fat, no foam, extra hot at 185, two Splenda caramel macchiato. Can you make that quick, please? Earl, you get all that? Uh, I wasn't listening. I was polishing this little box. Come on now, listen. Come get, on, um, get the order again. Get can you order. take? Where's, where's Kayla? Oh, uh, she stepped out for a moment. We gonna man the battle station. Okay. Go ahead, give it to us one more time. I need a venti, eight pump, sugar-free vanilla, none fat, no foam, stirred, extra hot at 185, two Splenda caramel macchiato. Why you want sugar-free vanilla? Does that even got good flavor in it? Can you just make what I ordered? 
What do you mean by 185? 185, that's 185 degrees. You know what degrees are. That's how you tell if something is hot or cold. Mm -hmm. Do you even know if it's 185 degrees? Don't worry about that. I just know. Just what make... you got a th thermometer in your mouth? Let me see. Just make what I ordered. I don't have all day. Okay, Earl, make the coffee. She got to tell me again. I forgot. Okay, give it to me. One. I'm going to plug it in the machine. Go. I need a venti. Eight pump, sugar-free vanilla, Hold nut on. None oh. fat. None fat or non fat? No, no foam. Extra hot at 185 degrees. Two Splenda Caramel Macchiato. Bam! Caramel Macchiato, everything coming up. Say it again. I'm just, jo I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Go ahead, have a seat over there, sugar. We're going to have it ready for you in one minute. All right? You got it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Fresh cup. Hey, what's up, Big Ron? I know what you want, man. Bear Claw, brother. Bam! Look at that. That'll be $2. Oh, 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 oh. I did not know you could buy Bear Claws with food stamp card, man. Look at you. What? All right, brother, go ahead now. Be easy, brother. You got the coffee, man? Hurry up. Look at her, she's angry. Order! up. It's about time. What took you so long? Well, you don't want ordering paragraphs worth of coffee? There you go. <laughs> Oh, taste and see that the This coffee... is not what I ordered. This is not what I ordered. Oh, yes, it is. It's 18 pumps of vintage, whatever. No, it's not. It's Italian regular roast, and that's not what I ordered. Put in the microwave for her, Earl. It's not even hot like I asked. Did you just drink? You right, this ain't just... it. I'm going to put this in the microwave for you. You know what? I don't even want it. What? I, I, can't I ain't got food as nothing. My coffee. I can't Obviously, it. this was a bad idea, Earl. We're closed. At least we got social security, right, bro? Yeah, brother? at least we got social security because we obviously can't work no job. Mm -hmm. Is that another stain in here again? Oh, hey, what's up now? Uh, she went out and ran some errands or something. I don't know. She left. Be in charge of the coffee shop now. Boo. Mm hmm And I was hooking the girl up. 18 oh, bucks of Vince Day, all that stuff. Was you really? We tired. We need a break. We've been working for three, four minutes already. Oh, she just left. Okay. So, um, ain't your sister bachelorette party tonight? Yes, it is. So, uh, when you get married? <sighs> oh, Earl. Perhaps when I meet Mr. Wright. So never. Are you serious? Uh, he's out there. Uh, I'm okay waiting for him. So, uh, tell me, uh, what is Mr. Wright? Uh... Well, I would say he'd be making decent money between seventy-five dollars and $100,000 a year. No kids, preferably a homeowner. 401k. Did I say no kids? You said no kids. You already said that. Great body and loves to travel. Oh, ain't that cute? Yeah. She might as well go to sleep then, huh? Yeah, she might as well. She ain't never going to find a man like that. <laughs> Good night. You want to go night-night? Hmm? You sleepy? Mm-hmm. Come on. Come on. He's out there. So what do so, you want me to do? You know, where you gonna meet this type of brother at? I imagine I'll meet him, you know, maybe at work. Perhaps at the grocery store. Maybe even at the club. So this man with this 401k and three-piece suit gonna be at the club sweating and dancing the Gucci man waiting for you? I, uh, yes, yes, of course he is. You know what, that's the problem with y'all single women. Y'all want these video game boyfriends. Video game. Uh huh. Good credit. 99. Body in 99. No kids. 99. 99 problem, but you ain't got one. I won. I mean, what do you want me to do? Settle for one of these no good bums with three kids, four baby mamas. Nah. You know, we can't even be sure. We ain't saying all that. What is you saying? Look, all I'm saying is sometimes women like you, who've been without a man for a long time, dream and dream and dream. And you want a man with a six pack, pow, 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 pow. And all you got is a muffin top. <laughs> With a little spillage I, on the side. You're I dripping. You're, no dripping. You're dripping. <laughs> You're dripping. You're <laughs> dripping. Wipe that up. Get out of here. You apparently have no idea what the dating experience is like. Would I or should I enlighten you? Uh, not really. Go ahead, enlighten me. Tell me what I the dating experience is like. I am going to tell you like. because in my experience as a professional black woman, I find with dating, I have to balance the desire to marry a black man with the reality that most black men aren't equally yoked. 
I mean, it's truly frustrating to look in these magazines and read on in the articles and see all over the TV that I am not the desired woman. Or if I do want a chance at happiness, I have to settle for a man with no education, criminal background, baby mama drama. Mm-mm, not having it. It's really frustrating. And I'm not the only one, but a lot of us sisters have spent a lot of money, time, and energy building our careers only to be faced with the things to better ourselves means we might not have families of our own. Please, oh wait, and let's not even talk about having to deal with the ego of the black professional man who despite having the same degrees and qualifications as myself, thinks he's special, making him more apt to play the field or just be a jerk like we're all gold diggers. Then on the other hand, I could settle for a man who is not as equally accomplished such as you two. <laughs> but then I'm stuck dealing with his insecurities, which always come up. I mean, it's really a good thing that these sisters is trying something new because the numbers don't add up in our favor. So, so. you saying there ain't no good black men out there when you got one, two, meet me outside, <laughs> right here. When the last time you seen a brother in a suit like this? I turned water into wine and a wine into a suit. You sure did. In your leisure time, too. Look, huh? everything you said is true. I'll give you that. Right. All I'm saying is the man that you're talking about, the perfect man, mm -hmm. he's going to grow into that. He's not sitting there riding a white horse with a no shirt on and a towel selling Old Spice. I mean, can he be growing into it right now? I'm saying when you find that person, get to know him, maybe he'll grow into that person through love, sacrifice, and a little bit of time. That's all I'm saying, but what do I know? Nothing, but I do hear the point you're trying to make. What was the question again? I'm lost. You know what, I'm, I'm sorry. Look, at the end of the day, we want you to hear what we got to say. And when you all up in the club listening to Pretty Boy Swag, <laughs> just Earl, remember what we said. You got Deal? it. I all do right. hear you. Good luck. You know, I have a question. Um, this pastry shop, do y'all sell meat as well? Or all you think about is food. I'm hungry. You got any meat in the back or something? Sandwich, maybe? Look, cook me and you something. <laughs> I'll see what I can do, Earl. I'm starving. You hear me, brother? Yeah. I'm starving. You hungry? Mm-hmm. You want to eat some food? I want to eat food. I want to eat food. I want to eat food. I wanna eat food. Last time, I wanna eat food. Here we go. Eh, uh, yeah. Every time I close my eyes, I wake up feeling so hungry. I can't get it out of my mind. Eating food is all I see. I would give anything. Just to make you understand me I don't really care about nothing else Eating food is all I see Tonight I'm feeling hot. I just want an omelet, baby I just want an omelet hey, hey. Tonight I just want you I to want burn my sausage salt. Burn it, baby Please burn it, baby Tonight I please turn on asking you to put the oven on what must I say? What must I say for you to cook me something, baby? What must I do? Just get on your knees and fry it, baby. To show how flip over the pancake, make sure it's not running over. All I'm asking you is to put some jelly in my biscuit, baby. What must I'm asking you, baby. I want a hot biscuit, fluffy and light. Every single night and every single day, I want some fried chicken, spicy or mild. Every single night and every single day, I want some hot biscuit, baby. Every single night and every single day, I want some fried chicken. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, shoot him. 
All right, all right, everybody, hurry up. Today is the day. Let's get it moving, ma'am. We are not serving muffins today. We are closed. Uh, hi. Hello. Kayla, I was hoping that I could have a moment with you too. You to know talk. what? Today is a special day. It's a wedding day. It's a happy day. So I'm going to go with no. Well, the reason why I came to talk to you is because I've decided that I'm not going to be coming to the wedding. I know how the situation between me and Ruben doesn't sit well with you and the girls, so to make things easier for everyone, I have just decided that I'm gonna steer clear. You let Ruben talk you into that? No, he, he doesn't even know that I'm here. You know what, that doesn't even sound like Ruben. Listen, sister, I don't care, I'm over it. If you wanna come to the wedding, come to the wedding, girl. Just stay out of my way and let's just make it a happy, special day, okay? We both know that the girls, they don't like me. Yeah. We know that, it's pretty obvious. And I don't wanna have any awkward situations, any forced pictures and weirdness. I don't wanna be a part of that. Wasn't that nice of you? I'm a nice person. You know, when I met Ruben, he was divorced, and I was divorced. And I never mean to get in between anything. And I come from a background of broken relationships and, and heartache, and I don't even know why, because all I ever tried to do was to please everyone. And then Ruben comes along, and he's different. I finally meet someone that wants to please me too. Someone that treats me with respect. Someone that treats me with love and... And so, I fell in love with him. And that's why when I, when I found out that his daughter's getting married, I got so excited, I wanted to hop out any way that I could, but I can see now that I crossed the line and and I apologize because okay. that was not my intention. Okay, okay, listen. You are uh, not the reason that we are in this mess, okay? And I've probably been taking it out on you a little harsh, so I'm sorry for that. Let's just kind of move on from here, okay? All right. All right. Well, um, I guess I'm gonna take off, but good luck. What y'all two doing? What are you doing? Karate Kid. Yeah. Um, yeah. you know, uh, Kayla, I got a problem. Um, I don't know what I did with uh, Malik's ring. So is there a way you could unlock the cash register? Because I think it might be in here. You put the ring in the cash I register? I did, and um, could you just thank you? 
Where are Malik and Ruben? It's time to go. It's time to go. Let's get it. They are it. in the car. Uh, Kayla, we got to go in the back. I can't find the ring. Um, where are you going, my... What are you doing? Oh, I didn't think you saw. <laughs> you cannot be that hungry all the time. Sorry. Come on. I need everybody to hurry up. Let's go. It's time for a wedding. Let's do it. Let's do it. The day is here. Oh, oh, oh. What are you wearing? Mom, to talk to your child. Are we running late, y'all? What? what are you wearing? We running late, y'all. Who has a man walking in the door? Have anybody seen Clayton and Earl? They got the, um, uh-uh. Uh, baby, you are ill-dressed for the occasion. I need you to get ready. I need to talk to you. It's about the wedding. Do you know how long it took me to tie this bow tie? I need you to go ahead and get your dress on. You got my mom at the church you need. You need to talk to her. Can Please. We, can y'all excuse us for a second? Actually, no. Everybody can stay. I need to say this in front of everybody. No. I no, need to talk to you. No. No, you will not embarrass me on our wedding day. I'm not trying to embarrass you. I need to talk to you. <sighs> what you want to talk about now? We had like 15,000 conversations about the same thing. What, what, what's new now, Kendra? What, you, are you scared now? You, you scared we're going to end up like your parents? You think we're going to get divorced, babe? I know, I know that I'm a good man. I'm a good man to you. So I don't even know where your, where your mind is at right now. Well, are you, are you mad because your dad brought his fiance here and you're trying to take the aggression out on me? Look, just, just, just level with me, babe. Just level with me. What is it? Are you scared? Are you nervous? You're not ready? You Malik, need time? What is it, girl? Malik, just tell me, so tell I'm, me something. I'm not pregnant. <laughs> nah, man. I was, I was with you when we got the blood test at the doctor's office. What are you, are you, you trying to tell me that you got a miscarriage? I got rid of it. You, you got rid of it. How could you do something like this without even consulting me first? I didn't have to talk to you. It's my body. I can do what I want. That was my son. What are you talking about? You know you what? I made first. the decision for the both of us so you can back up. Kendra, why are you talking to me? Mom, you don't have anything to say to me. I don't want to be running behind him for the rest of my life while I watch him chase his dreams and I do absolutely nothing about mine. Who is going to be stuck with the baby, huh? Kendra. No, no. I put myself in the best position possible. I can't even believe what is coming out of your mouth right now. I can't even do this. I can't, I can't marry you. Why? You're a liar, that's why. Why? Because the baby was the reason you were marrying me in the first place? How you, watch how you're coming at me right now. Malik, we have been together two years, and you never even mentioned marriage. You're the one that had the big plans and the big dreams, and when you found out I was pregnant, you got scared. So Mr. Malik Dexter, MD, Megasports.com, doesn't look bad in front of the church. You did what everybody else does. You got down on one knee and you proposed. All you ever talked about was protecting and providing and putting food on the table. You never talked about loving me. You never looked at me and said, Kendra, baby, the reason why I'm marrying you is because I love you. And even if you weren't pregnant, Kendra, I would still marry you. You can talk about protecting and putting food on the table if we were divorced and you were sending child support, right? So now that you know that I'm not pregnant, you don't even have a reason to marry me anymore, do you? I didn't think so. You know what? You got two doors, choose one. You can go. Kendra, we didn't raise you like this. You didn't, Mom? No. Are you sure? You didn't raise us to know that it's okay if we cheat on our husbands? You raised us to know that divorce was okay. 
You also raised us to know that it's okay if we give up on all of our dreams for our husbands. So you did. You did raise us like that. Okay. So you're going to do this now? You're going to bring all that up now? You're having a moment, so you're just going to... So you have an abortion, and you're better than me, Kendra? You kill your baby, and you're suddenly better than me? You know what? I'm proud to say that I gave up my life for this family. What? Mom, when you cheated, you ruined everything. You know, you know what, little girl? I have waited a long time to say this, but nobody ever wants to hear me talk. Nobody ever gives me time to say what I have to say. I am the mother. Do I not get a chance to say what I have to say? I never cheated on your father. Come on. Come on, don't, don't do that. Ruben, just listen. You just listen, all right? Just for once, just be quiet and listen. I never cheated on your dad. What happened with me and Andrew was just, it was just emotional, <laughs> all right? I'm just saying, I went to dinner with a guy. I went to some movies. We hung out. He made me feel special, like he actually saw the eyeshadow that I wore. He called me by name, you know? I never had sex with Andrew. Well, if... I can't, okay, I kissed him. I'm kissing him, and I'm, saying, I'm not saying that that's okay, but it certainly does not make me the monster that you all are making me out to be. If you didn't have sex with the man, why would you let us get a divorce? Ruben... We went all the way down to the courthouse for that. Ruben, you were halfway to the courthouse before you even got back. And don't act like everything was okay before you left. It wasn't. It wasn't, Ruben, 20 years. I thought maybe when the girls moved out, it would finally be time for me and you, Reuben and Caleb, but no. No, Reuben, you're just busy taking care of everything. Everything. You, 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 you expect me to be overseas, fearing for my life every day. Here you're laid up with some man. You expect me to come back here and court you? And take you, out, take you out to eat into the movies like you're my girlfriend? When I needed you the most, you stabbed me in my back. My life was on the line. And that's what you did to me? Ruben, I'm sorry. You are sorry. I know that. I, Ruben, I thought you were going to call. Ruben, I thought you were going to call. And I thought you were going to say, let's not do this. I thought you were going to say stop, but you didn't, Reuben, you didn't. I wasn't going to call. I thought, Reuben, you were going to call and say, let's not do this. No. I signed those papers because I thought that's what you wanted. Look, look, look. I don't even know what y'all are talking about anymore. <laughs> I got to get out of here. Where are you going? Where are you going? Don't. You know, there it is. <laughs> Seems like with all that money you got from me from the divorce, you would have did a little better job with it and hired you some help in this place. You know what? Don't come in my shop talking trash, all right? And if you're going to come in here talking trash, clean it up. Ooh. <laughs> oh. And while you're at it, how about you go clean up that mess from this morning? That mess. That was a mess. That was a mess. That, that, 
performance your daughter put on. My daughter? That was your seed. That was you. Did you know all that? Did what? you know that before she said that to no, him? No, I did not know all that. No, I did not. I, I thought Malik was going to hit her. He should have hit her. <laughs> I, if you would have did that to me, I would have punched you. How is this about me? This is, this is not about me. Again, this is about your daughter. I thought he was. Did you find him? Have you found him? No, I, I tried to call him. His phone is off. And uh, <sighs> can't reach him. I, I don't know. Have you talked to Kendra? Um, I think Kendra's still upstairs talking to Kristen. I guess, um, as parents, we should probably talk to our kid at some <laughs> point. Yeah, we probably should talk to her. I'm going to clean up first. How about that? Did you, did you ever think that we would be like this? <laughs> no, sir, never. I never thought that we would be like this. You know, it happened to our friends, but I never thought we would be like this. And Yeah. You know, when everything happened, Kayla, I was hurt. I was hurt, uh, and, I, and I didn't kn really know what to do. Uh, I just, I, I never, people, they just had so much to say about what they would have done if they were in my shoes, and... Yeah. I, I never let people's talk just influence me, and it, it just influenced my decision-making, and that's just so unlike me, you know? Yeah, it happened. I, I never told you, but I, I never stopped loving you. <laughs> Why would you try to spray that on me right now while I'm... I'm talk. sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm then you mess up my makeup I'm now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> messing, you, messing up my makeup. You were. You, <laughs> you know, I never stopped loving you either. And you ain't never say nothing. Because you're never around. You could have called me. I'm not going to call you, Ruben. You could have talked to me on Facebook. I think I blocked you. You blocked me on Facebook? I think so. Why would you block me on Facebook? I'm just saying, I had to get over it, bro. Just had to move on. To what? You know what that is. It's truth. I need, come on, put your hand on it. Truth. I don't have. Yeah. Do you, what, a name? Kayla. Ex-wife of Reuben, which means I don't have to play this game. You're doing it. <laughs> um, do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you, God? Yes. Okay, this is something that I always wanted to know. Did you love him? Reuben, you don't, you're not listening to me. No, I didn't love him. I never loved him. I didn't even think he was cute. No, he was ugly as fish eye fool. Ruben, he what? I, he, I'm telling you, he just paid attention to me. He just listened. He, well, just, he was paying attention to you, huh? Yeah. What, what was you showing him? I, it's not like that. I'm just saying. Oh, it, it was, ain't like that. It was fun. It was light. It was just nice. Oh, you was having fun with it. it. Okay, here. Come on. Because you're getting all mad and everything. Come on. Come on. Come okay. on. Come on. You're just using my stuff. Okay. <laughs> Play the game because you're getting all twisted. All right. Name? Ruben. Alizé Jenkins. <laughs> Alizé? When, when? I switched it on, you know. I... You changed your name? Yes. It's, oh. I like it. <laughs> Something's wrong with you. All right. Uh, do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I will. All right. Do you love Melissa? You just want to be in my personal business now, huh? I'm just saying, we playing the game. Let's play the game. Truth. When I started dating, I started dating to get back at you. That, that's horrible. Well, I mean, that's the truth. I didn't know what to do. I mean, I've never been in a situation, and um, I just, I met Melissa. She was nice and friendly, and we just grew closer. 
He grew closer. Yeah. So, you're gonna get married because you're closer? That's the plan. Plan sucks. Hey, hold on a second. What? You're like, getting married. You're gonna wait, marry Melissa because you're closer. I yeah, know, but I'm not trying to be all up in your. Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, girl. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Hey. You smell good. Hey, yeah. Thank you. Over here, you smell good. Hey. Yeah. One, one minute, please. I, uh, I think I need to talk to you too. Family business is family business. Right. But it, it looks to me that you two jumped the gun. No, no, we were just having a just, casual no, conversation. Just Let talking. me finish. We're totally just talking. I don't want to be the reason to keep you two from each other. No, we never said we're getting back together. We're not. We're he's, he's, he's going to do you. He's totally going to do you. <laughs> it shows. And it's where your heart is. You know, Ruben, I love you. And when I got divorced, I never thought that I would ever find anybody. But I don't want you to settle. No, I'm... Because I would never settle. We got a good thing. You know that. We got a good thing and it's... Just... Sometimes a good thing can happen at the wrong time and that makes a good thing a bad thing forever we I know what we shared and how we cared the feelings were there but sometimes a good thing can happen at the wrong time What would I do without you? Oh, what would I do? My life was based around you. My life was based hey, around hey. you. You were my sun, my stars at night. My sun and stars at night, baby. You, you were a good thing when the time was right. not right. What are, you, what are you doing? <laughs> Melissa, it, it, don't, it ain't gotta be like that. Goodbye, Ruben. Melissa. Your thought was dead comes back to life. I admit my wrongs, but my love is strong. Can we move on? Remember, we lived happily together. And I need you forever. It's not the same without you, baby. And every day I think of you, baby. I'm willing to share it one more time. Give me, give me.
got excited. <laughs> you want a coffee? Yes. Okay. Gotta get it on here. Here you go. I'll see you later. Bye. I left this place a mess. Oh my goodness. Where's that book? I gotta find that book. Well, well, well. Tis, tis, tis. Isn't it, little Miss Destroy a Wedding? Shut up, Clayton. Come on, have a seat. Yeah, sit down. I don't need to sit oh, down. Yeah, we close. Thank no, you, no, 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 no. Yeah. We're not close. There We're not go. close. Appreciate Clayton, it, Sam. I, I don't have sit time. Sit down. <laughs> around, around we go. Secrets, lies, deception. deception. So. Malik hit you with the Katherine Jackson, huh? What? You a liar, and you a cheat. And I don't want you, I don't want you, I don't want you no more. Oh, I don't want you no more. Trust me, Katie. I never do anything to hurt you. Mother, mother, mother. You know what? I guess he did. I guess so. I guess. So what happened? I made the decision not to have the baby, and Malik made the decision that he didn't want to marry me. So you still wanted to marry him? I didn't tell him so he would leave me. It's just, I was nervous. If we were going to get married, I just wanted everything to be laid out on the table. No secrets or lies. Did you talk to anybody about this? Uh, no. Did you pray or ask God for anything? Why would I pray and ask God? You know, I used to do that all the time. After my parents got divorced, I would pray and talk to him and ask him to restore their marriage, and it didn't happen. So why would I pray and talk to him about my situation? Is there any saints in the building? I said, is there any saints in the building? The Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches you and I, he teaches you and I, that we get married in the church. Yes, we do. We dedicate our babies in the church. Wah. We die and have funerals in the church, but we don't go in between. Mm. Hey. E, I felt it. Oh. Uh huh. I guess you're right, Earl. Look, we ain't sin a fit here or fitting to sit here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we ain't fitting to do neither one of those mm -hmm. and judge you. We know you had an abortion, but the Bible says something like, if you be sinning, don't be throwing rocks at people. No, let, let us he who without sin cast the first stone. There it is. There you go. My point is, mm -hmm. when you come to Judgment Day, they not going to say, oh, little Kendra, your mom and dad got divorced. You ain't had to know God. You ain't had to have a relationship with God. What they going to say is, you got to get to know God for your own self. Mm -hmm. You don't have to stay. In the state that you're uh, in. Talk about it. The potter wants to put you back you together go. again. Is there one? The altar belongs to you. Come, come. None of y'all want to get saved, then just, just stay where y'all at. I hear you, Clayton. I really do, but I still do love Malik. Love. A word that comes and goes. But do people really know what it truly means to love? love. Somebody, y'all don't hear me, y'all don't hear me. Love. Y'all don't hear me out here. Love. Mm -hmm. So many things I try to tell you. But I'm afraid I don't know how. Because there's a possibility that you'll look at me differently. Love. Look, I just, I just want Malik to be with me for me. That's Some all. Some people want it all, but I don't. Want nothing at all if it ain't you, Malik. Okay, I get your point, but y'all need to stop. Stop, stop the love you say may be your own. 
Start and look both ways before you cross Malik. You're heading for a danger zone. Oh, oh. <laughs> look, we done. Right. At the end of the day, you got to decide. It ain't about your dad, it ain't about your mom, it ain't about Clayton and Earl. It's what you want. Because you know what? What? A heart <laughs> is just a house for love. And I learned that it don't take much to break a heart. A heart <laughs> is just a house for love. And I learned that hey, it don't take much to break it. Is there a heart in a house tonight? Stand up if you need it. Stand up. Hey, 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 hey. One more time, one more time. Is there a heart? heart. It's just a house for love. And I learned that it don't take much to break cardiac 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 arrest the fibrillate the pow pow the fibrillate pow yeah 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 remember yeah. what we said now all right we love right. you get love right you get right now Hi, Mom. You talked to Malik? I called him. I sent him a message. He didn't respond. I'm not going to chase him. Okay. So how are you doing? I feel bad, I guess. Feel bad? Come on. Yeah, for Malik, you know, for keeping the whole thing from him. Okay. But I do feel justified for doing what I did. Justified, Kendra? Yeah, Mom, I mean, I, 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 mm. <sighs> all right, mm -hmm. Mama, after seeing his face and his reaction, it just, it changed everything for me. I'm confused. I don't know what to do. Honey, listen, I'm not here to, I, I just want to make sure you're okay. The mommy in me just wants to make sure you're all right. To be honest, I just feel bad for myself. You know, that was not an easy decision to make, nor was it a secret to keep, and I know that. Mm -hmm. I just, I was by myself when I went to the office, and I got there, and I walked in. Mm -hmm. It was cold. It smelled really bad, too. And sitting there, I just kept telling myself over and over, this is the best thing for me. It's the best thing for Malik. This is the best thing for the baby. But after a while, just sitting there telling me myself that over and over, it didn't make the situation that e any easier. Yeah. I can understand that. I mean, Mom, it's not even something I believe in. I just felt rushed and unprepared to take care of a baby, especially if something were to happen between me and Malik. Mm -hmm. They gave me a picture of the baby. Ultrasound photo. Mm -hmm. I kept it in my wallet. Every time you or dad or Kristen would talk about the baby, I knew that by then it was over. I just, it made me feel even worse. I felt guilty all over. Listen, honey, listen. Come here. I'm not here to make you feel worse, all right? I love you. I do. <laughs> God loves you too. <laughs> Still. <sighs> we'll figure this out. We'll we'll move on. We'll we'll move on. Thank you, Mom. I needed to hear that. I did. I really, really did. You know, one thing that Clayton and Earl made me realize. Clayton and Earl. Yeah. <laughs> Clayton and Earl. Can't wait to hear this. <laughs> It made me realize that if I had the same relationship with God that I used to have, mm -hmm. then maybe I wouldn't have felt so afraid and alone and just plain scared. That's, yeah, I think they're right. I do know this. 
I'm going to go back to church, and I'm going to get my relationship with God back together. Well, all right. Now, that makes me feel good to hear, because I raised y'all to be good church-going people. So that's a good start. That's a great start. I'm happy, but mommy, I want to say sorry. I blew up on you in front of everybody. You did. I was disrespectful. You were. I'm sorry. Yeah, you did that. <laughs> you did that. Ah, uh, it's okay. It's all right. I mean, you know, everybody's tensions were high, emotions were all, you know, bare and all that. So, I understand. I, it's all right. But if you ever even ponder if doing it again. I'll meet you back out in this, ball- uh, this, this little alley, little girl. Mom, the alley? The alley. Don't the, take you the, too little. The I'll alley? take you out to the alley. See, that's where playing. me and Kristen get it from, well, right there. I, I ain't saying I was innocent. <laughs> Thanks, come here, Mommy. Come here, come here, come here. I love you. I love you, too. You'll oh. be all right. You'll be all right. I hope so. You will. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Hi, Ruby. How are you? Good. I don't know. I haven't seen her. Kristen. Give me a hug. Miss Kristen. I'm there coming. she goes. <laughs> there she is. Hey, girl. Hi. What's going on? Hey, well, Dad. Guys, I just wanted to say that we are a family. Daddy. On a giant tree. Why is he always trying to sing? Well, I don't know. Out in the sky. I'm getting him. I'll get him. I'll get him. Come on. We love you, <laughs> Daddy. Come on. No, seriously, me and your mother talked. And uh, we wanted to apologize to you guys. Um, We didn't take into consideration you all's feelings Mm. and how it would affect you when we got divorced. And um, we put you guys right in the middle. Mm. And we just apologize for that. It's just not a good thing to do. It was just a fierce battle between me and your mother. And I'm just we're right. sorry. He's right. I mean, we don't know what's going to happen, but whatever happens, we'll never do that again. That'll never happen again. Aww. Look right? at y'all trying to apologize. I see, right? It's just our Cosby Show moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Ruben. Yes? I could have been a better wife. Yes, you could have. De- I could have been a better husband. Okay. I could have paid more attention to your needs, and I could have paid attention to detail. <laughs> Why are you always using my line? That's my line. <laughs> my line. Stop it. Jeez. Stop it. Yeah. That's so sweet. Is it? Yeah. What happened to Melissa? Um, I was dumped. <laughs> Uh, no, we, we, um, we realized that it just probably wasn't the best time for anything, and she felt there was something there still between me and your mother. And, uh, she, you know, she said some really good stuff, and I, I, it just made me realize how much I missed my family. But she's gone, though, right? She's gone. Come here. <laughs> hate to have to hurt you. I'm happy we're all back together. It is good to have my family back. Yes. It is. I was tired of talking to Reuben and Kayla and not my mom and dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Good. Oh, I'm going to cry again. Don't do it. Please. <laughs> Please. No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You are my mother, my father, my sister, and my brother. We may not always see eye to eye, but we've got each other. What would I do? Where would I go? How would I live? God only knows what I could be if I didn't have my
Miss Lady, Miss Lady. Ooh. Excuse me, ma'am, excuse me. Uh. <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, what you about to do? I'm about to keep my business running so I can stay open. Let the girls know now, why don't you go get something to eat with a player? <laughs> Would that be you? Uh, yeah. Come on now, stop playing. Okay. Mm-hmm. But you ain't getting none on the first day. No, I've been there, done that, got a t-shirt. <laughs> it's nothing. It's nothing. Yes, he did. <laughs> you know, girls. Yeah? I'm gonna go on a little date with this man. With this man. But don't worry, nothing's gonna happen. He ain't getting none on the first day. <laughs> That's right, Mom. That's, That's right. right. Um, Quack, wow. I always bet on black. <laughs> get, get him. Let me see y'all. Yeah, don't wait for the bell. <laughs> y'all, mm. stop it. Uh, well, I guess I got some returns to make, so. You got jokes? Uh-huh. Whatever, I'm gonna call Malik. I'm out of here. All right, bye. He will never pick up. Sadness. Hey, I've been trying to call you. Yeah, I just uh, saw that you called right now. How have you been? I've been good. Very good. Very good. Yo, where you been at? Man, here and there, you know. Came at me with a lot of information, you know what I'm saying? You dropped, you dropped a major bomb on me, cuz. Look. I'm sorry, okay? I know I shouldn't have made the decision about the baby without you. I was being selfish and just thinking of myself and all the what ifs. To be honest, I just kept thinking about marriage because you and I had two different ideas of what marriage should be. I didn't want to be a stay at home mom, okay? I didn't want to sit back and watch you chase your dreams while I do absolutely nothing about mine. I just felt like all of my dreams were getting pushed off to the side and that I would never see them again. So how do we do it? 
Look, Malik, I'm sorry that I didn't fit into the plan that you had for us. Well, I mean, I just really just walked in the door. I didn't really expect that we was going to jump right on subject like that. I mean, can I get a cup of uh, Joe or something? Can you I want get, some coffee? Can I get some coffee? May yeah, okay. Please. <laughs> Young man is thirsty. Uh, I mean, since we're here, I mean, like I said, you came at me with a lot, and my ever since I've been gone, my mind has has been going. You know, a lot of what you said, I mean, it was hurtful, but at the same time, it was true. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I had to. She counseled for my parents about this whole situation, and you know the funny thing about it is, is that my parents didn't really think that getting married had to be the next step for us. Really? What? I know. I mean, they weren't tripping off the fact if we got married or not after you got pregnant. I mean, they were going to be happy as long as I take care of my responsibilities. I mean, as long as I take care of the mortgage. You know, be a good husband to you, a good father to, to, to my kid. I mean. <laughs> to be honest, I never expected your parents to react like that. I know, not the deacon either. Know what I'm saying. What number is it? I'm saying. But I mean, I mean, in in talking with them, I mean, it made me, it made me realize that that our marriage marriage was just <laughs> on the pathway to failure. I mean. You're right, I did try to fit you into my plan. Never did I say to myself that I wanted to marry you because I loved you or I wanted to marry you because I needed to be with you or anything like that. I mean, you know, got pregnant and the next thing I knew is that I had to handle my business, you know? It was a, it was a knee jerk reaction. I know, look, you're that type of guy. You take care of yours, and I understand that, you know? I see a lot of my dad in you. You know I love my dad. But that's where he messed up with my mom. You know, all he could think about was meeting all those tangible needs, and he forgot how to love her. Yeah, I could dig that. I could see that's that correlation. Um, you said something. You what? Doing that? It really struck a chord with me. You said that. Hadn't you got pregnant, I wouldn't have proposed to you. I mean, and I thought that you said that because you were mad. I was mad. Yeah, but in the same sense, you were right. I mean, if you hadn't got pregnant at that time, I wouldn't have proposed to you. So you wasn't trying to marry me anyway? <sighs> nah, man, that was like way down the line. Why it gotta be way down I mean, like, down way down the line. <laughs> okay, well, now that we've cleared the air, and we know these things, we can work on them and work on us, mm -hmm. right? That's the other reason why I came to see you. What? I took the job. You took the job? The job job? Yeah, I'm gonna be moving to Charlotte. Oh. Okay. Well, congratulations. That's what you wanted, right? You're right. You're right. <laughs> I'm, I don't want you to go. No, no, I do want you to go. No, no, um, you should go. Yeah, you should go. You have to go, right? I do, and I do appreciate you understanding. No problem. Is this it? Seemingly so. Seemingly so. But hey, I mean, this is not the end end. I mean, you know, I might need to holler at you in case I need to lead on the story. You feel me? Yeah, I'm your girl. I can always hook you up with the story. You gonna be my connect? I'll be your connect. That's what I need. I appreciate you. Okay, well. Be yeah. breezy. All right. Um, uh, before, before I left, before I left, 
There's one thing that I was really looking forward to. What? Our last dance together. Come here, girl. Love is so crucial. And love is so cruel. And it's so critical. That I have you in my life. I know that it didn't work out, but that's all right. That's all right. We went our separate ways. But you stayed in my heart for, for the rest, rest of my life. So critical uh, that 